Four cities are a particular kind of city. They have formed where land and water meet. From these locations, ships travel across shared waters such as the Mediterranean Sea. Port cities have grown along with trade and shipping. They have been incubators of technical and social innovation. They serve as gateways to diverse territories. Public and private actors have collaborated to make them key to the development and defense of states and nations. The maritime character of port cities is often captured in paintings, films and literature. Depictions of waterfronts serve as the business cards of many cities and they are used to market destinations to people around the globe. Port cities and their regions display a unique form of resilience. This resilience stems from a particular culture rooted in spatial and governance structures and historical practices. Politicians, companies and citizens have come together to facilitate and maintain shipping and trade. They have worked together to quickly rebuild after natural or man-made disasters and to adapt swiftly to multiple transitions. Only few port cities have died. New technologies such as transportation and communication devices have been developed for the specific needs of the port. Lighthouses, cranes, docks and warehouses connect the sea to land and land to the sea. Road and rail infrastructures lead out of the port and connect to headquarters, housing or leisure areas for port city dwellers. The shared goal of facilitating trade offers opportunities and challenges for people in the port, the city and the land beyond. Trade provides jobs for many citizens, but shipping does not always benefit everyone. Ports can have a negative impact on the inhabitants of a nearby city and region due to air pollution, noise or increased traffic. For centuries, people have accepted these and other negative aspects of the port as long as there have been rewards. For each stakeholder, the balance between gains and losses can change over time. A look into the past reveals the particular resilience and culture of port cities. Many historic settlements and contemporary world heritage sites were built around maritime trade and remain vibrant port cities today. The Phoenicians, the Greeks and the Romans created ports like Carthage, Alexandria, Naples and Constantinople. Trade flows through these port cities have helped diverse nations and cultures thrive. The focus on financial gain and the movement of goods and people also led to negative elements. Many workers staying within walking distance of the port lived in horrible conditions. Additionally, colonial port cities sold slaves, minerals and opium, facilitating human and environmental exploitation around the globe. In the 19th century, when agrarian societies became more industrial and urban, ports industrialized and single-use port districts emerged. The London Docklands, for example, connected ships and trains and developed separately from working and housing areas. In the 1960s, container districts and offshore ports began to increase the separation between ports and cities. Traditional port areas with large number of dock workers became obsolete and empty. Lately, waterfront regeneration has become a trend in port cities around the world. Traditional cranes and warehouses provide photo ops in rebuilt waterfronts from Baltimore to Hamburg, from Osaka to Melbourne. Port city heritage has become a marketing tool for many port cities. But this also brings new conflicts. Many European, Mediterranean and Caribbean port cities have been invaded by tourism cruise ships. Their presence is of little value to small historic cities and can lead to tension between ports and cities. Today, ports continue to grow as they accommodate containers, petroleum and other goods, often to the disservice of neighboring cities. Century-old investments in carbon-intensive practices are examples of issues yet to be overcome. As we face a number of challenges such as rising sea levels, the reshaping of coastlines, migration and digitization, and new forms of mobility, port cities need to make the best use of their long-term shared resilience. In the past, co-creation and creativity have enabled port cities to survive and thrive. Once again, this approach can help develop sustainable and socially just spaces and partnerships at the intersection of land and sea.